All right, let's get a lay of the land. Just want to take a look at what we got here, which is be nice and easy, gentle. Ginger carefully on this. A uh, I don't know, it's an older, relatively speaking, rigid table saw. Pick this up on Craigslist, and uh, works great except for the uh, little the little gear mechanism that moves the blade up and down on the pinion uh, seems to be all stripped out. So you turn it and nothing nothing happens. Just spinning and no gear moving. So uh, looks like this thing's in uh, you know it's been through a lot rust and grime and crap all over in here. So we're just gonna start by taking the whole thing apart cleaning it up, putting it back together again, and uh, seeing if it still works. So, uh, if I just get us a little, quick little lay of the land, and we'll dive right in. All right, guys, I'm gonna do a quick pause here and just take a step back, talk about what we're trying to do here with this saw uh, and with this project. And, um, you know, today, for this video, we're looking just at the fence. So we're going to strip down this whole saw eventually, but today we're focusing on the fence. We're going to strip it down, we're going to rehab it, we're going to put it back together, have it work in as close to new again as we can get. But why are we doing this in general? You know, what's the point? And for me, there's sort of three things, which is one, we get to keep good tools out of the trash. You know, most of the time, something fails, a bearing, a plastic gear, a bushing, something cracks, and these things get thrown back into a hole in the earth. So we get to keep a good tool back on the road. And then the second thing is we get to learn something. We get to understand what are the failure modes, um, how to repair, fix, um, refurbish these machines, and maybe we can help out the next guy whose rigid table saw is not working, and we get to help him get it back on the road. And finally, we get to do something useful with our hands. So I don't know about you, but I get to sit behind a keyboard a lot, and it helps me get my ass into the shop, get my hands a little bit dirty, keep me out of trouble. So hope you guys enjoy. Let's dive back in. Come on, there you go. So, took a goodly amount of the surface rust off. A little bit of light pitting on there, but looks like it already has some type of coating. Ah, it's supposed to be protecting this thing. Let's see what else we can do. <laughs>
All right, so couldn't figure out where that little latch piece went. So I had to go and look at the video and uh, <laughs> see how this thing went back together. So just taking the back apart. Um, I also forgot to put the washer underneath that net holding the uh, piece of uh, that heavy piece of metal to the spring steel. So taking it back apart, gonna put it back together again. You guys will see what happens. Naturally, I forgot to put the little uh, I forgot to put the washer back on. Of course. So let's do it now. Washer. The bolt. Tighten her up. Now we can put her back together. Start with the bottom plate. Right here. So we've got the uh, little spring steel on the inside, which sits for us in the recess, cut into this piece of extrusion. I think that's appropriately affixed in there. Just give it a Looks pretty good. And then uh, our steel plate that bolts to the outside is adjusted to our, uh, well, we'll see how that works. We might have to adjust this, is uh, affixed to our little lockdown lever. So let's put this little casement back on right here. Let's let them go in nice and easy. And we figured out where this thing affixes to. Had to go back and look at the video, of course. Goes on the inside. A little brain teaser. Getting that one back together. Using the gentle setting on the old. Uh, drill because we're tapping into plastic and aluminum here and I don't want to mess up those threads. So let's take a look at how we're doing. So removed the rust off of this nice little steel plate we got here and the spring plate that's underneath. Uh, painted the spring plate with some uh, industrial metal primer. Uh, cleaned out just all the schmoo and the crap from in there refinished our tension rod uh, and then just put a light coat of WD-40 on it. Didn't end up painting it. We got some grease at the ends. Cleaned up the uh, little bearings and the action here and uh, see how she does. Alrighty y'all, so let's check it out. Um, I had to adjust the action a little bit on this to make sure that we slide right on, but we are One-handed, we're skookum as frig. Check this out. I mean, the smoothness not totally affected at all by what we did. Um, but nice clearance on here. Locked down with a good amount of pressure. Rock solid. Strong fence. Super clean. Super skookum. And this inside. Beautiful, functional, not a dirty, pitted out, rusted mess anymore. And we can get ready to move on to the rest of the saw. All right, see you guys tomorrow.